Mm. Second part. But just uh, said I needed credits, so that pissed me off. Anyway, um, sorry swearing there. But other people, Lex and Y123 again. And anyway, I, um, I went through the my first part. I went through the car stock, the uh, positives and negatives. Well, another negative is the differential locked up. So technically, the turning circle is the size of the moon. It does not turn very well. But I've put some carbide diff balls in there and it works perfect. Or, or other, yeah, that was just random. I've got a stock servo in there and it's still, it, on my track, it's actually quite good. I was expecting it to be a load of crap, but yeah. Um, the Another point is the front. The front end, if you crash into the curb at about 50, the whole. I'll just, like, just put it under the light so you can see it. The whole of this part here, I've got what's called, because I haven't used this in a while, that just shatters and you need to replace the whole front end, just about. And not the whole front end, like a malice to salvage the uh, shock tower. So yeah. But, yeah. Overall though, well. Some people might not like it because it's well I've seen tons of reviews and they just said it's a load of crap and stuff like that. But yeah, overall though, good car, love it, and I'll uh, be posting a run video what I made probably about two months ago or one month ago about. But yeah, I'll be next year as well. I'll be posting. One's lipos, a uh, lipos, one sec. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching YouTube, and I'll be posting a few of you videos. Bye.